it's a Sunday morning and this is my town. I'm going to take the car because I need to drive in Tuscany today. I have a great appointment with uh, Marco Cecchi, the owner of Cecchi Resin, because we need to discuss some interesting stuff regarding the pole for the extension. You will see uh, in a moment, or probably in the video in a moment, but I need about four hours driving from Venice to Tuscany. We start now. As we are in Treviso, my own town near Venice. This is the dome. I live very near here. morning, Sunday morning, all the people are sleeping now, only me wake up. I need to drive for four hours from Treviso to Venice, Venice to Tuscany, and in Tuscany this town I need to reach to go is Viareggio. It's a very important place because uh, there is also a main uh, uh, shipyard of Perini yacht, you know, the huge Perini yacht, the Falcon one. So, will be a very interesting place to go. And here we are, I am just in Viareggio just now, this is the marina, but just in front of you in a moment you will see the Perini shipyard. Here they make a fantastic motorboat. Uh, this is uh, wonderful for those who love the boat because there is everything you need. Anything you can think of uh, boat here in Viareggio you can find it. But I'm here to meet some very special people and here we are, the Cecchi Gustavo Society. They are my sponsor and my support and I love their product. And here is Serena, a fantastic woman. If you have any problem with the bot, call her and she solve your problem in a second. She's a master to help you. But this is my secret cave. This is all the products I love. The product that helped me to restore my boat and for sure they are the best products around. You can see here all the tests Mr. Marco Cecchi did and to test this product. But the most important is the steel blue. This product I will use to install my pole for the extension. We'll use this type of epoxy to glue my pole for my extension. This is very strong glued and you can imagine 25 millimeters of steel glued in this epoxy. As a result of the pull-up test we have about 6,000 kilo. For sure I can lift the board. And now it's time to introduce to you this fantastic person, Marco Cecchi. He's a man full of humanity and knowledge, where every word is like the Bible, for us we love the board. A person of great inspiration for me, who personally I admire in a very important way. Talking to him 10 minutes is the same as learning things in 20 years. Marco, you are the best. Morning guys, welcome back. Today is Monday and I'm just here to finish the work that yesterday I did with Andrea. 90% we have finished to plumbing inside Alos. We need to install the hot and cold water hose. The main connections are done. So I will show you what I did yesterday with Andrea and today I start to clean and organize all those uh, hose that run inside Alos. There are a lot of hose to adjust, but uh, I need now to make more clear and more uh, uh, clean inside. We go now inside the boat and we will see. And here we are. You can see there is a mess, still a mess just here. A lot of stuff around, but at the end you can see here all the connections are done 
This is the fresh water pump and this is the bilge pump. I use a big hose because it's 25 millimeters diameter, so I have a lot of suction inside the bilge. We finish all the connection. I need to clean everywhere, but the last things I need to do is connect the cold water and that bring water the all bot inside. After that, I finish to install the diesel and this is the diesel intake. You can see this connection that I, I need to do because the original hose that is in the diesel tank is 32 millimeters like this one, but this the tap that I installed is 52, so I need to reduce the diameter from the beginning to the main hose. This is uh, made my stainless steel 3616. Uh, this is for me the best solution. Then, then reduce the diameter near the tank because I have no space to work on it. So this is finished. All the hose are attached and we go inside. <coughs> Okay guys, and here we are. This is the valvoles. Some people blame me because I don't use it, the valvole with the lever. I tell why I don't use this valvole, because those valvoles are very reable. You can see the open close. Now the valvole is open. If you turn, you can see clearly it's turned and when you appear closed, the valvole is closed. It's I prefer this type of stuff because it's made in Italy and Guidi make a very, very reliable stuff. Even the guys from Guidi, they make the very best work. This is um, a patent about 2004 and always work well. Nobody has a problem. So I'm very happy with this valvole. I'm very happy with this setup. So <laughs> Another thing I did, I completely crimp, completely crimp the lugs, anchor lugs. To protect the electric cable of the windlass, I use this type of conduit. This is a very special one, very tough and very resistant to uh, the elements. I don't want that the simple cable, electric cable, go from the stern to the bow free. I want all fixed and all very tight. I need to make this band because you don't see the black cable, so I need to take more high I can. Nice and tidy, great installation and very nice to see. I use the white one because it's very big and very tough and the black one here, so I have a very good support for the cables. If the boat bumping, I'm sure that nothing happened here. fix all my hose with the electric uh, cable inside, positive and negative. Okay guys, and now I need to fix this hose with the plastic bands and give a nice and tidy uh, installation.
So I can open and close and transfer the water for this tank on the bow and the main tank. Guys, I am in the way to install back all the wood and cover the, the hose over there. And now we start, it will be a puzzle to rebuild everything, but we will do. Time lapse helps a lot, but they make about two hours to install any single uh, wood strips on the port side and the starboard side because they pay a lot of attention to find the correct hole, the correct length, but at the end I make a very nice and tidy work. And I also clean any single strip of wood, of mahogany wood. completely finished to cover again my wall. The water hose is completely disappeared behind the strip of wood as Andrea told. The only things I need to do is cover the old hole with a small piece of mahogany. Now I will move in the other side here, but before I need to fix uh, cables. Blocking the cables and making sure they don't move allows you to use them for many years without problems. And as you can see in the video, inside my boat all need to be very tidy and clean. Clean uh, uh, installation. Make the cross with a screw. All my art cross is good luck when you're sailing. You and it's beautiful to see. Republic of Venice say that. So I will did all the, my screw are cross. You can see here. I have the valve for the head and all the hose, the air vent hose, the transparent one, and the other is the connection with uh, the white one is the connection with the bow tank there and the main tank just under there. Finished to install the mahogany on the port side. It was quite a puzzle. All the screws are crossed. You can see, perfectly crossed because it's more elegant and bring good luck. Okay, now we will move in this side. And I have all those stuff. I use this pin to perfect center the whole original one and insert the screw in correct way to avoid to make more hole than necessary.
Okay guys, the net is finished <coughs> and now we move over there. First of all cleaning with soap and make very very tidy walls and after that start to find the correct puzzle position of all the wood stripes. And now guys, it's time to move on the back of the board near the engine room because I need to uh, fix all the holes and make a very tidy and clean uh, position of them. So first of all, cleaning. But first of all, I need to pass again the electric cable in this position because I don't want to come back again to this uh, operation. You can see just behind the holes that I'm fixing, there are a lot of uh, holes that are made in the, in the mahogany. Now I will cover them with a new piece of mahogany that are ready, uh, warnish and is ready to go install it. But it will be soon, not now. For the moment I only prepare the conduit and try to Ooh. figure out how to fix as best as I can. Clean installation, you can see, we move on the back now, we reconnect the, the stuff. I'm fixing the diesel uh, hose intake on his position as was original and yes. was very easy because I used the old holes. And now after fixing the pumps with the bolts and the nuts, now I will install back all my holes. I don't want to come back here to make more work, only I need to connect electrical all those pumps. I completely finished. I fix all my pump. So guys, I'm quite tired. I'm exhausted today because I work a lot. Uh, thank you for watching my video. If you like my video, please thumb up, leave your comment and thank you for watching again and see you in the next episode. Ciao. Okay, here we are inside Alos. Alex Valvols. <laughs> all set up. All finished. You can see the cable just there. Electric cable, diesel and water. This is the whale foot pump cable. Soon this one and soon that one.
the best quality in material that are, are around. Um, I, I use the best quality material that are sold, that are sell away. <coughs> and I use it, the best quality stuff made for the purpose. Um, how you can see, I changed my valves and thank you to, how you can see the last video, I changed all my valves because I have a replay for a friend, Roland, thank you Roland, but he used for upstart, it is it used for installation not underwater and they are approved by Rina Royal. It's regis Italian Register of Naval uh, Association. So I'm sure that the installation... So guys, now we move and we have a lot. So one guy write me. So guys, now I need to prepare all the cable and the conduit, we go. Hi guys, welcome back to Power Plant. Very happy to get here. And today we start with a new episode just.